Hello guys, welcome back. So, just bringing you a little 1v1. I'm just testing a new build order. Uh, I've done this in ranked once so far. And, uh, ah! Seems to have been going okay. I won the first game. Um, screwed up there with the uh, little... I think my shift button's not working very well. I'm trying the shift cube uh, things. Oh, never mind. Uh, anyway, yeah, one in ranked uh, with the first test, and now this is the second test. So it's essentially the uh, Lithuanians, knights into monks, well, fast castle into one stable knights and monks. Um, and I think the build order itself is pretty much the same as the Step Lancer Rush, if I'm honest. Pretty sure it is. Oh, I've got two pond, two wood lines with ponds. I hate Arabia at the moment. Just the map gens. I'm hoping this gets sorted soon. Because they're just awful. I mean, look, I only need one. <laughs> um, one wood line for this build. Go there. Try and limit any archer fire that might come over to me. But yeah, it's been working pretty well. Uh, the the concept of the build is obviously uh, go knights, but we should be able to afford monks straight away as soon as we hit the castle age, about 14 minutes. So the plan generally is to make three monks. One will go forward with the knights, the other two will go collecting relics. So very, very quickly, we're getting the Lithuanians' uh, little bonus for the extra attack which is really really good. Now the good thing with the Lithuanians is really there's no excuse for having any idle time <laughs> because of that extra uh, extra food. So should hopefully work out pretty well. Hopefully. We'll see. Now where do I make these houses? I'm going to make two houses. We'll go there. And we'll put a bit of a palisade there as well. So yeah, it has been working pretty well in testing against the AI, but it's AI, so you know. There's only so much uh, we can say about that. Yeah, I'll do it there. I always want to leave a bit of a gap. It's just a bit of an awkward set of barriers, but a bit of a gap so we can make some walls around it. Push some deer in, uh, but whilst we're doing the dark age stuff, let me just tell you about the uh, Town Bell newsletter, which uh, you can subscribe to. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but if you're um, a very much a big fan of Age of Empires and you want to keep up to date with all of uh, everything that's going off in Age of Empires, there is a little newsletter that you can subscribe to, a little email newsletter, um, which. Uh, it takes about five minutes to read, it can come through to you via your email, and it's done in a way that's quite fun, it's quite a witty, funny way that it's delivered, um, and it's about five minute read. Uh, but there is a, a little Morley Games build order section in there, uh, temporarily, we're, we're doing a little bit of a collaboration, uh, just to sort of uh, help each other out I suppose, so do check that out. Do check it out. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same as the Step Lancer build. So you could probably give this one a try before I even do the uh, actual guide for this. Can't remember if I need two farms or one. I think it's one. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> we shall see. I think I'm going to stick with just the one farm for now. Uh, I've not written it down on the, the little build that I've got for it, so. Do a little bit of paper which has the build written on it. Old school. Hi, Mr. Scout. That could have been very annoying because he could have uh, quite easily 
disrupted me there. There we go. Right, good. Right, so we've got that sorted. We're going to find where the enemy is. Do you want to get a barrack? So we'll do that there. We'll just stick a palisade there. Just get them a bit of protection. Uh, not really going to wall off around the wood yet because I'm going to be using that. I might put a palisade there, just give me a little bit of vision perhaps. Yeah, I'll do that. A little bit of vision. Okay. Also, just whilst I think about it, we are... Uh, we've just recently got over... 1.6 million views on the channel, which is fantastic. So thank you to everybody who watches the uh, the videos. Really, uh, very much appreciated. Um, but we've also got a target of uh, getting to uh, 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Uh, we're currently looking at um, probably a projected uh, sorry, a little bit of. <laughs> Probably looking at around um, nine thousand at the moment. So you're not too far off. So if you do enjoy the content and you're not subscribed yet, then do consider subscribing. It really uh, help the uh, channel out a little bit. There we go. Definitely could do with tower on the gold. Let's do that now. And we've got seven on gold now. So we're going to get double bit X. We need to fill that hole up. And we should hopefully be able to get um, bloodline soon, that's what we want. I'm not entirely sure what the opponent's doing, he's got an archery range. Possibly I was cons uh, expecting men at arms. I don't seem to have any on the way yet. Um, but we've got pretty much enough farms, I think, for what we need. Uh, so we are going to need we'll get another house, just in case. But we should be able to get um, the monastery pretty much straight away as soon as we hit Castle Age. So um, I really could do with trying to find some relics. That's the whole point. So I've scattered my enemy out a little bit, which is fine. But I really need to get those relics uh, on the go. There we go, some monastery coming down. A couple of knights. A knight. <laughs> and at this point it's just a case of adding... Um, adding farms. Really? And knights. Farms and knights. And monks. Okay, so we do have a re relic found so far. Should be able to get that one in. But we want to be able to try and get uh, a few... A few relics. Struggling a little bit on food there. Okay. Oh, one food off. Right. Just got to make sure the. Ah, there's another relic there as well. So, once I've got enough uh, gold. Aha. Right, so he's already scouting out the relics. 
We'll go for that one. So I've had to pause the night production slightly. But that's fine. Ah! That's not fine. Ah! Okay. It's fine. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to happen, obviously. So we've potentially got three relics we can get. Um, ideally I should be going on the attack now. We've got the one relic. Go for that one, I'll get another. I do really need some more knights. And more houses. And more farms. Ah, my God. Go for that one. Do not kill another knight, uh, another monk, please. No, <laughs> I will get these blooming things at some point. Feels bad, man. I mean, this is just bad unit control, really, isn't it? So, I've kind of screwed this up a bit, I think. I should really be um, attacking the enemy by now. But I want those. I want those relics. So I'm just going to use uh, one, I think, to do that. Certainly. Oh, not again! My God! Right, I'm going to get husband drink because I'm getting annoyed at that now. So yeah, don't play it like this. Why have you got so many on gold? That's a little bit excessive. Okay, it's fine. Not again. <laughs> so. It normally goes better than this. Ah! Don't do that! That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. I just need a bit more wood. So yeah, if I'd not died so much then, I think we'd have been okay. Can we get the conversion in before we die? No. My god. Okay. Uh, so, not quite going as planned. So let's be honest. So, we're going to need to uh, certainly get another monk. Because I want that relic. Oh, houses.
Another dead monk. How many? This is a uh, monk sacrifice central. This game. It's pretty much all we're doing. Just sacrificing monks for the great good. And that's it. But yeah, it should be. Doing better than this. To be honest. Houses again. I mean, I've still got the village, uh, the score lead, so that's good. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. I do know he's protecting that other one, so... Let's try and get some heals. Healing done. Like, I, this is risky, isn't it? You'd think I'd not learnt my lesson. My god. First game of the day, guys. First game of the day. Okay, he's collected one there. Which is fine. I think we'll just go forward now. Uh, probably look at getting some town centers down. Uh, if I had a market. Yeah, looks as though we might have one relic. I've only got th uh, two relics, I've only got three. Can't imagine it's going to be in any of these little spots around here. Final one. A couple of conversions there, that's what we want. Let's uh, try and just go on the on the kill now. Boom, there we go. Village, uh, nights really. Not really a spot I want to be fighting in. Could go raiding, I suppose. But I kind of want to take those relics out of there. Right, let's sort my economy out a bit. Get some upgrades. Get more of those on the go. I mean, we're doing okay. We're certainly winning. Just not gone as smoothly as I'd have hoped. Where did 
they come from? All downhill against them, that'll be nice. going to go for another TC but I think I'm just going in full attack mode now to be honest It'll definitely need mark uh, there we go I'm gonna go for a third Third uh, stable. Do you know what? Can we take that town centre down now? Do we think? Ah, uh, not with the monks. Uh, not with those dudes there. Ooh, that's a lot of camels. Uh, where's his? Uh, I think we could go around here and take out the camels. Uh, stables. Yeah, I'm aware it's not the tidiest to play, but very much my play style is to kind of forget about the economy a little bit, <laughs> if I'm honest. There you go, let's do that. We've certainly got the bigger economy here, uh, or night numbers, military numbers. Yeah, okay, let's take his production out. I think that's the best bet. Keep plowing forward. But yeah, I mean, technically, if, if this, uh, you know, this could have gone quite well had I not lost quite so many monks, but it's fine. I think we're doing okay. I mean, all that for one villager is probably a bit overkill, isn't it? It's fine. Should hopefully have enough knights I can just rip down the TCs anyway, I think. Uh, they are very well protected, but I kind of. I'm going to dive in, I'm going to try and rip the TC down. And kill off all these. If I can. enough we can do that now. I think we're going to lose a few but it's fine. Surprisingly he's got the eco actually for that many camels. There we go and then we'll just rip up the, the dude's economy. There we go GG well played. So there we go, two wins out of two uh, with this strategy. Obviously you've seen how not to play it. Um, so yeah, you well played.